Are you curious about FRS radios but don't know where to begin? My name is Eric with Bridgecom, and I'll be introducing you to the new FRS radio, the Bridgecom Buddy. It's a simple but powerful device that allows for long distance line of sight communication with your group, no matter where you are in the world. This video will serve as a quick start guide for setting up your buddy right out of the box so that you'll know exactly what to do when it arrives at your doorstep. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so here is our Bridgecom Buddy box. And um, let me tell you real quick uh, before we get into this box that when you order these from us, you order it as a bundle. And so it's going to come with two Bridgecom Buddies as well as two security style earpieces. So you can plug that into the accessory port, which I'll get into in a little bit and uh, be able to have that hands free, uh, so to speak. So it's pretty cool. So there's that box. Let me show you those uh, earpieces real quick. So this is uh, the packaging they come in. So you will see this outside of your uh, buddy box. And then um, I'll just open this real quick for you. They look like this. So you're going to get this um, clear uh, tubing uh, with the earpiece that goes in your ear and then uh, just a cable with that K1 uh, Kenwood style a jack on it. So pretty simple and uh, that comes with your radio when you buy it as a bundle. All right, set that off to the side. So here we have the, the buddy um, and then so let's get into it. So here is inside. Uh, as you can see, there's this nice little um, like cloth felt like um, uh, liner around it, which is kind of nice. And then the buddy itself is a pretty slim and compact radio. Um, as you can see, there's not a whole lot to it. It's uh, smaller than my phone uh, for sure. And um, yeah, so here right on the main screen uh, of the radio, we have that large push to talk button. It's uh, got a ring light around it as well to show you some status things. Uh, you also have a second push to talk button on the side. So for those of you who are more comfortable, if you're coming from amateur radio or another type of radio and like to have that button on the side, it is here for you as well. Right below that, we have uh, two buttons. That's going to be your up and down for channel select. So you'll click through those um, and it will, and I'll show this to you in a moment, it will tell you what channel you're on so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, underneath that is going to be your orange power button. So um, that's how you turn the radio on and off. And then lastly, we have um, up at the top for buttons, uh, we have, it's more of a switch slider. Let me see if I can show that to you. So you can go back on the slider as well as forward on it. And this is your volume knob, uh, essentially. So uh, forward or pull, pull it towards you when you're looking at the radio, pull it towards you is gonna be volume up, pull it back is gonna be volume down. And it'll indicate which way you're going to. Um, and then a few other things uh, we have on here is, like I said, that um, accessory port is gonna be the Kenwood uh, jack for you. So that um, is right there. And then below that, we actually have the charging port. So that is a micro USB charger. Uh, so we have a cable included in the box for you, but if for some reason it's too short or you forget it somewhere, um, just any micro USB cable uh, will allow you to charge this radio. So that is the radio. Let me put that off to the side here. And let's open up the rest of what we get with our radio. So let's take that out and set that over here. Um, and then, so here we have the power uh, adapter. So that's going to be a USB type A port on there. Um, and that goes with the cable that we have as well. So here is the, the charging cable. Oh, set that off to the side. As you can see, there's the um, micro USB end and then there is the USB type A port. So that connects your radio. Like I said, it is a bit short. So if you want a little bit of a longer one, you can get these cables. Um, you most likely have them lying around your house. Uh, so just grab one of those if you need it longer. 
All right, so we have a wrist strap here as well. So you can hook that on to the back of the buddy. Um, it hooks in right up top here. I don't know if you can see that, but um, you'll be able to uh, connect that and uh, keep it on your wrist. We also have a battery pack. I'll take the plastic off. So this is a, uh, it actually is a, uh, see, 1,200 milliamp hour battery. So uh, you have a lot of endurance there. You should be able to talk on these all day without any issues um, and then uh, still have power to spare. So that goes on to the back of the radio. Let's see, like so. And you'll just slide it in, it'll click and that'll be connected. Uh, lastly, for accessories, we have that belt clip. So just a standard metal belt clip, um, nothing too fancy about that. And then the last piece of thing, uh, the last thing you get with this is a user manual. So uh, be sure to read this. It's uh, got what all the buttons do and, and stuff like that. So if you're ever lost, come back there. All right, guys. So we've gone through unboxing the Buddy Radio, and now let's go over a couple of those features. So first off, we have audio quality. It's, you're gonna get a lot of loud, uh, clear and crisp audio with this radio. We've tested it in the office and you won't have any problems hearing uh, the other person on the end of the radio. Next up, we have the scan lists. So on this radio, you can add or remove channels from your scan list um, and you can go over to channel 16 to activate that. Um, by default, we have them all on there, but uh, if you get that programming software, you can customize that to your liking. Um, next up, we have PL tones. So those are privacy tones, or CTCSS and DCS, as uh, they're called in the radio. We've programmed up tone 67 for CTCSS by default for all of the channels. Um, that way you can talk to other FRS radios uh, out of the box without having to worry about it. Um, but these are customizable if you like. Um, last up, we have line of sight communication. So everybody wants to know how far these radios will actually go. And to answer that question, simply line of sight. So uh, let's say for example, you're out on an open ocean. Um, you're gonna have a lot of um, open space there to, to communicate pretty far distances. Um, that'll work a lot better than say in the forest where there's a lot of dense trees that take the signal. Uh, keep this in mind, if you can see the person, you can communicate with them. So these are some features of the Buddy Radio. And that's it. Compared to DMR radios or analog ham radios, FRS radios are comparatively much easier to use. You don't need a license for it, and there's no FCC registration required to use it legally. If you're gearing up for a long hiking trip or even an off-road drive with companions, the Bridgecom Buddy is a must-have tool for maintaining clear communication, even in emergency situations. Thanks again for watching. My name is Eric with Bridgecom, and we'll see you next time. 7-3.